Elections in Albania are generally tense, but this time around, it was oddly calm as the country's biggest parties went head to head. The Socialist Party was seeking to extend its mandate, and the Democratic Party seeking to overtake power. Today is an important and special holiday for Albania and for Albanians, as it was the day of the parliamentary elections. Every democracy needs elections as it tests the functionality of a government, but also of their leaders. The country is divided on who can be their next leader. Whether it is Edi Rama or Lulzi Basha, the Albanian voting population here in the capital is split in half. Although the election will decide a victor, the general consensus in Albania is it will not produce a clear winner. The socialists have been in power for two years and many believe they have nothing left to offer. While on the other hand, there's little faith in the opposition, which people say lacks necessary leadership. But despite the criticism, the Socialist Party says they aren't finished. The World Bank says Albania has gone from one of Europe's poorest countries to an upper middle income country. And Edi Rama pledges more economic reforms are underway. We are voting for development and progress. We are voting for the future of our children. Employment opportunities are on the rise. And I think there will definitely be change. Expectations are high. If the leaders keep their promises, I believe we will have more foreign investment and we will join the EU. Exit polls from local media project Edi Rama's Socialist Party to win the election. The next big question is, can the Socialists gain at least 70 seats in Parliament and form a new government on their own? If they can't, and a coalition is out of the question, Albanians will have to wait a little bit longer to see the change they've been longing for. Yasin Eken, TRT World in Tirana, Albania.